So my fucking moment was <clears throat> basically been living in LA since 2010, realizing that everything that glitters is in gold. Um, you know, Pops was having this decline. I've worked with every artist that you can possibly think of, some of the top artists of our decade. Um, and I just realized, you know what, home is where the heart is. This industry isn't everything that we amounted to be. Um, and there's super dope talent. And I realized that I can do what I'm doing in LA, in Kansas City. So one of those things, those life changing moments was like, man, look, I could do this here, have the same kind of movement and build my own legacy. And uh, that's what I'm here to try to do, build my own legacy, man. As far as my BMG deal, um, it was one of those situations, you young in the game and you, you're trying to make it, you living in Los Angeles and you're like, man, I need to, they, they offer me this bread. I need to go ahead and take this money. And it was a good deal. You know, uh, Leo Williams, he's the one who signed me over there. He's a dope, dope guy. And uh, he ended up transitioning away from BMG. It was Bug at the time. Bug got bought out by BMG. And um, that's what we have it as we know it. But it's one of those situations, you know, just, you know, not realizing what I was getting myself into. And so, uh, you know, as time went on, you start to learn the game and start to understand what really you're into. You're like, man, these three songs, I just thought I just needed three songs to place three records to get out of this deal or to re-up on my money. And really, they want three songs at 100%. So, you know, as a producer, I may be doing 50% of the records. So that means I got to do multiple records just to get that three, you know, that placements. And then, you know, just realizing that, you know, going into these deals, you got to know who, what, what is the language that's going on, what people are talking about, and just not be too antsy about just getting a deal. Because you're going to end up finding yourself stuck for 10 years like I was trying to figure my way out of a deal. And so um, the lesson I learned was just, man, you got to read these contracts, especially transitioning into the business side of things. My creative process is simple, man. I like to go in and just vibe out. If I'm in with the artist, hey, what's the, what, where we at? You know, we may not even start working on music. We may just have conversation. We might just have dialogue and just talk about life and what they're going through, their struggles, or they dating, or, you know, what happened in their relationship. And those are the things because I want to stay true to what they are, you know, what they are going through and what they want to talk about. I don't want to give them a my interpretation of their own life. So I like to get in and just have conversation and we can get to create and start from piano or if it's guitar or whatever it is and just build from scratch. So the biggest lesson I've learned in my mu in my my journey in music is uh people are going to come, people are going to go, but only the real creators are going to survive. Um fads come, fads come, they go. Um gimmicks come, gimmicks go. Um but only the real survive so i tell people to just be authentic to who they are so what i have next is i've been building my my roots here in kansas city i believe that we have some of the most amazing talent in the world um and i just wanted to build my own motown here um so that's what i've been doing i've been finding the dopest artists that i could possibly find in kansas city and just kind of building my taking what i've learned from la and brought it to kansas city um and just really kind of maximize on what we're what we have in our culture here because we we're building a legacy and i want to build an ecosystem here you know atlanta's doing this thing la is always going to do this thing atlanta's doing this thing now um and kansas city has some of the some of the most amazing talent i mean if you look at any of the major records that's on the radio some of the cats from Kansas City, Kansas City, Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri side, where some of the guys producing or writing these records. So um, we don't have a lot of people that are coming back into the hometown after they leave. So I want to be one of those people to let the other guys, the other creatives know it's OK to come back home. We can build our legacy. We can build the infrastructure here as well. What's up? It's Joe Black with The District. I'm here with 247HH.com. Check us out, man.